hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so in this video i want to share this uh story that's uh, okay two stories actually one is about this uh pastor with the dreadlocks and nigerians are like okay side eyeing him he's getting some bombastic side eye <laughs> so anyways another story of a, a lady that uh, she was married to a white guy everything was going well she didn't know that this man wanted to end her life a shocking story this evening an Arnaville man has been arrested and charged with attempted murder while on a missionary trip in liberia okay let me leave that let me talk about this uh, pastor guy so there's this nigerian female pastor as far as we know i never knew the husband was a pastor to be honest with you guys if i'm wrong correct me um she was the pastor she was famous so back then we were all younger then she died in a plane crash and uh, and i think it was after she died that the husband took over you know and became the pastor and uh, unfortunately do you know there's so much okay the man then remarried not too long ago, the man's wife, the second wife, a young, younger lady, her life ended as well. And people say, like, you know, Nigerian people, oh, how can a man, you know, your first wife has, the first wife died, second wife died. This man, there's something he's not telling us. How can one person lose two wives? You know our people sometimes. Let me tell you, did the man cause the wife's plane crash? People need to be a bit more sensitive when, I don't know. And they were like, you know, it was a lot of some kind of uh, back talk, or if I can use the word rumor, or stories about how can, you know, wife died, second wife has died, da da da. Unfortunately, the man, not too long ago after his second wife died, the man has died as well. And I remember I wanted to make a video. I think I even filmed the video, but I never edited and posted it. When some man, when other stories are flying, flying, you know. And I was saying, okay, now that the man died, so will you not accuse him of killing himself? Of course not. His own life has ended too now. So you understand what I'm trying to say? Now, the man's life ended not too long ago. But uh, the son is now in charge after he left. And there is this other aspect of, oh, you see, church is a family business. Church is a, you understand? Because it's always like, okay, the wife started, the husband took over. You know, now the son took over. So it's a family business. So you cannot say that in the church, you know, there's nobody qualified enough to have been the to take over. Must still be the son, you know, uh, that will take over and all of that. That is one, one angle. The other angle people are kind of dragging or talking about is the fact that the son uh, has dreadlocks. And they said he's, a, uh, he's an actor. You know, some people like, okay, since he said, and he said he has been ordained since uh, a few years ago. I'll put it on the screen, right? And the people are asking, okay, he's called and he's now a pastor. Should he still, should he have continued acting? And then people are now questioning his dreadlock. And he has come out to say that uh, there is uh, biblical backing for his dreadlock. <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing because I had the conversation with my brother about something else. My brother was just saying something about if some if people have graduated to the point where they can use the Bible to back everything they are doing. He said, Oh law is like that's the end of it. Like you don't even know where to start with from them because Bible is their backing. But I just thought about it now. It's a different topic. That's why I remember that I'm kind of finding it funny. So you know he said that he has biblical backing. And Nigerians, you see, we have Grown up in Nigeria where a lot of pastors speak against dreadlocks, okay? So that you won't be surprised when Nigerians then are questioning the son of a pastor. Let me just say a few things. I saw um, this uh, legit news covered the, the story. So this is what legit news it said. Dreadlocks is backed by the Bible. Jimmy Odu Koya uh, speaks. That is uh, the guy, the son now that took over, right? And uh, yeah, there's saw a video where the guy, the guy is fresh or is young, go see him dancing and his young family and he see his wife, the new, <laughs> the new mommy G.O. dancing. So come and see her throwing legs and throwing, ah, yeah, this mommy G.O. level, eh, no be here, like, she's, she's cute, oh, let me put it like that. Pastor Jimmy Oduko Okoya recently spoke to the BBC about his emergence as the new head of his church during the interview jimmy revealed that he was ordained as a minister in, tw in 2009 and became a full-time pastor in 2012 he shared that he had been the lead pastor of the youth church for years and he also spoke about the hairdo noting that there are places or scriptures in the bible that back his hairstyle the young clergyman also spoke about his acting career during the interview, despite all suggestions that he would have to stop acting now that he is the new senior pastor of TFOLC. Jimmy quickly shot that <laughs> Jimmy quickly shot down that idea, noting that he would stay active in Nollywood and Hollywood. The guy knows Sandunapa. 
Shut it down. The guy knows send on papa. He has he's gonna keep his dreadlock. He's going to keep acting. He's gonna do whatever he wants to do. That's what he has said. You understand? The only thing then is a lot of Nigerian pastors that speak against dreadlock, they will struggle to now because you know there's something I've noticed about a lot of the Nigerian pastors. They they back up each other somehow. You understand? They have their own way that they try to. Now it will be interesting for people to now see any of them try to tell the younger people or tell people that dreadlock is not correct. People will say, what about that pastor? I be, let's be honest. Would they even invite him to their churches to come and minister? Because you know they always invite each other. They, you, would they invite him? Would they ever rev, uh, uh, refer to him? Would they ever want to be connected to him? Because I know a lot of them will not support the dreadlock. So it's going to be interesting to watch. I'll be okay. Anyways, let's leave that. I wanted to share this story about this. Uh, God, I, I'm sorry if I forget. I'll put it on. If I'm not correct, I'll put it on the screen. She was married to this uh, Yubo guy. The Yubo guy came to to Africa. You know, came to. He was even. They were even living in Africa together. I don't know what I do. I don't. The story never still makes sense to me. One day he told her that uh, he wanted to take her somewhere. I can't remember. She was feeling sick. She was pregnant. And uh, allegedly, she, he gave her something, she drank it, and she was losing the pregnancy or something like that. And then the, she lost the pregnancy. About Jessica Lloyd and Lucas Richard. Now, Lucas is a church minister from Iowa, representing this church. Hi, this is Lucas and Lois Richard. Lois and I are privileged to be served the Lord in Liberia, in West Africa. And Jessica is a student in Liberia with this organization. When these two met, they decided to hook up and she got pregnant. But there's way more to the story. Because not only did Lucas not tell her that he was already married, even though he was already bringing his wife to Liberia to help with the ministry work, as you can see right here, but he didn't tell Jessica's mom. And when she found out she was pregnant, she wanted them to get married, which they did. But then everything went south when his church reported that he was robbed, which wasn't true. When in fact, Jessica was the one that was hurt. Actually, she was almost killed by Lucas. Oh, and by the way, when he found out she was pregnant, he was injecting her with something that would cause a miscarriage and he was successful. One day he was taking her out and the next thing he parked the car and said he wanted to pee in the bush. It's time to hear from Jessica. Get out of the car, he took her, they left. Pee in the bush. He said, you know, I felt a snake, so in case one sees a snake. Bashed her on the back of the head and pff, her throat. That's when the man on the bike showed up and handed Lucas and then he called the rest of his crew to show up and then Lucas ran away. And in the process, some bike riders were going past him. They happened to have seen what happened. A shocking story this evening. An Arnaville man has been arrested and charged with attempted murder while on a missionary trip in Liberia. The victim, a Liberian woman, says the suspect tried to kill her by slitting her throat. News 10's Jasmine Dean has been following the story and brings us details surrounding his arrest. Jasmine. Multiple news outlets in Liberia have been reporting on American missionary Lucas Richard being arrested and accused of trying to kill Jessica Lloyd. Investigators say Lloyd was taken to a hospital where she alleges Richard was the one who slit her throat. Richard was taken into police custody and is currently being held at the Monrovia Central Prison where he is awaiting trial. Why not walk away? You even took out the time to marry her. You took out the time. Then what if, even if whatever, you don't want her anymore. Why don't you walk away? What gives anybody the right to end another person's life? What are your opinions are about those two stories? Especially we in Nigeria, especially we in Nigeria, I want to know your opinion about the dreadlock pastor. Do you see anything wrong with the dreadlock? Do you think there's nothing wrong? Do you see anything wrong in the pastor, uh, pastoring being passed down in the family? You know, whatever your opinions are about that, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.